Hey, it's Stephanie Pressman with Red Carpet Report. And I think I'm gonna go back to college today. Yeah. Or I'm just gonna talk with the cast and crew of Community at Paley Fest, at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. So, come along. Hi, I'm Hi. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie, I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm sorry, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> so, you know, the show went through a lot of changes and now it's back. And um, this season has been so incredible. Um, you guys have just done such a great job of carving out a niche that wasn't filled before. And you've you had so many different genres you've covered. What has been your favorite genre thus far that you've covered? This season? Well, in the whole series. Sorry for scratching my nose. It's okay. God, my favorite genre. You know, I I love the first paintball episode, Modern Warfare. I thought it was just uh, just one of my favorite episodes of the show, and I think it just proved that this show was just beginning in terms of what it could do in terms of telling a story that had all these stylistic trappings of 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 a genre that I love, yet could also have um, character work going on, uh, and I think I think the show is at its best when it does genre episodes, when it is telling uh, you know uh, a story with a beating heart underneath of it, um, which which I think Dan is is proven that he's he's really adept at doing, and um, I it was a monster this year the the ass crack bandit episode um, I we worked very very hard on that like between the sound design and the props and the story and um, uh, it was it was it was a mammoth episode. Um, uh, what were your favorite this year? Well, what are your favorite John episodes of the show? I I actually I, w I watched the lava episode recently, the hot lava episode, which was I just thought it was so fun. Yeah. And then also I'm a huge nerd, so the D and D stuff always. Oh, okay. What did you think of the second one? It was great. Okay. It was great. A worthy sequel. I keep on saying it. Yeah, was, yeah. That was bandied around a lot. Absolutely. No, Absolutely, I think, but I, I think a lot of the like cinematography and stuff this this season has just been so beautiful and so well done. Um, I I really feel like the show has just dynamic became so much more dynamic over the years. Um, NBC, even though we we haven't gone outside in a while, <laughs> we're, we don't we don't have enough money to go outside, so we're dynamic within the sound stages of thirty one and thirty two. What campus do you shoot on when you're outside? Well, we don't anymore. I don't think we've done it since first season. But it was they would go after the pilot when we would go off campus first season. I think it was LACC. But we haven't been allowed outside in a while. Then we started doing um, stuff just around Paramount for like seasons two and three. Um, you know, stuff in like the, this place called Lucy Park. You know, just trying to make it double it. But I, I think we went outside for a couple moments this year. But that was about it. Um, we, we, we blew our budget on the hot lava episode, and then we were not allowed to go anywhere. Well, it was gorgeous. It was worth it. Um, now, you've been spending the last few years at Community College on TV. Did you ever go back to school? Did you take any classes when you came on board with this? No, I didn't. You know, it came from Dan's experience of going to Glendale Community College. Um, but no, I haven't. Um, uh, I probably should. What would you want to take? Um, grounded storytelling 101, um, non-genre. No, I love the genre stuff. I, I don't know what I would want to take. Uh, you know, that's a great question. Well, the show, Sorry, I have no answer. the show started airing in fall of 2009, and in spring of 2009, I actually went back to community college. You so, oh, you were just setting yourself up for your own tale. Yeah. Tell me your story. Oh, there's not much to tell. I went back to school for music business and learned right away that there was no music business. Yeah, so, but, yeah. there's that. It's called Napster. <laughs> it's called Gone. Um, how long did you stay there? Three years. Oh my goodness. You got a degree in music business? No, no. I I was just there for three years, having fun. I mean, isn't it like a, God, that was, like, at that point, the music industry had just decimated, right? Yep, yep. So, NBC has been giving out little rumors that you guys are coming back for another season. Can you? 
I don't know anything about it. They haven't talked to me about it. I, they haven't talked to Dan about it. I, I haven't heard anything. What stories have you not told yet that you really want to tell? It's uh, a good question. Um, just a story, just something, I, I want to explore more of Hickey and Abed's relationship this year, particularly them uh, collaborating on uh, Abed's movie script together. I thought that would have been, that, that had potential. Um, I, uh, I would love to do more with Jeff and his teaching. Um, what, 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 what he now is like as a teacher, what are, you know, who the, uh, that just seems like a, a right place to return to. Um, and his evolution as a person, but also as a story generator of um, of what he and his law his law class are doing. Are they getting are they getting someone off of death row? <laughs> the wrong person off? Of, I don't know. It just seemed like uh, people. I, I just felt like that intro to teaching episode. It did a lot of great things that we wanted to do, which was just get back to basics and have a very grounded story. And I and I think Jeff behind that desk teaching a classroom full of kids. That, that, that is, that, that, that just feels like a well that I would like to return to. And there have also been rumors about a movie. What, what do you think you could do with this story in a movie that you couldn't necessarily do for a TV show? Well, uh, I don't know. Yeah, when we send up so many movies, how do we actually make a movie and send up? What are we going to do, send up TV? I, I don't know. Um, I think it depends on how much if we were given any kind of budget or, or are we just going to be shooting everything in a basement and green screen um, while they're searching the high seas yeah no I don't know I mean I, it just depends on how much they you know we're, we're really allowed to do with it are we allowed to leave the campus are we allowed to go somewhere um, you know I would hope that whatever it is it it's generated we've come up with a great story of why we're making a movie well, thank you so much, and we're looking forward to seeing the screening today. Anything you can tell us about what we're going to see? Um, it's the first part of the two-part finale. Um, there's, uh, there are some surprises. There are some surprises. There is a cliffhanger. Um, there are some really fun uh, uh, uh character work uh, between my new favorite trio, um, Annie, Abed, and the Dean, uh, who, 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 who come together uh, by the end and uh, are um, a ridiculous uh, force to be reckoned with. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. And good luck with everything. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Well, there you have it. Community Paley Fest 2014. Make sure that if you like this video, you click like. If you want to see more videos like this one, click subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box below telling us what your favorite college course was. I think mine was Intro to Western Civilization. Yep, history. Those were the days. See you next time.